thanks for coming to visit Hildy. Normally at Vacation Bible School, we come in for a visit at the organ uh, one day during the week, but uh, this year, since we're meeting by video, I thought I would give you a tour and show you some parts of the organ that we don't usually get to see. Did you know that organs usually have a nickname? Ours is nicknamed Hildegard, and we call her Hildy for short. So, you know that the sound comes from the pipes. There are pipes here, and there are pipes on the other side, and if you've been in the sanctuary before, you know there are a few pipes back in the back, too. What you might forget is that most of the pipes we can't even see. There are lots of them. They are behind these pipes on both sides and behind the wall back there. And we're going to go see them in a few minutes. But before we do that, let's just review how the organ works. There are all of these pipes, and they sit in rows on top of boxes that are called chests. And each one has a little hole in the bottom that's called the toe. And when we want the, the pipe to sing and make music, I press a key, and when I press the key, the toe opens, the little valve here, the air shoots up, and it makes a sound like this. And it takes that air to do that. And in fact, it, if there's a sound on our organ just like that. It's exactly the same thing. But that's the only sound that this pipe can make. It's beautiful, but that's the only thing. So for each pitch, we have to have a, another pipe. So there are 61 pipes usually in each set uh, that all make the same kind of sound. Now, it all starts with the wind. So the first thing we're going to see is the blower room. It's located way down in the dark of the basement. Are you ready for it to go for a walk with me? We'll see where the sound starts. Okay, well this is the way to get to the organ blower room. It's quite a little journey, so follow me. We're down in the basement, so it smells a little funny. Do you notice that? Go through here, watch this little turn. And it's just a few more steps. Now watch your head right here, don't bump. It's very narrow through here. And there's one more place right here. It's, it looks like some other people have bumped their heads before. We made it. Well, this little room was made for our Hildegard organ. It's called the blower room. And if we open it up, let's come in and see what there, oh, feels good. So it has its own air conditioning, which feels great on this summer afternoon. Here is the blower that produces all of the air we need to run the whole organ. And it goes right here into this big wind line, and then it's going to um, wend its way upstairs, and we'll see that later. Also in this room are some other controls and a humidifier that adds water to the air in the wintertime so that the organ doesn't dry out, but always has a constant supply of healthy air. Okay, when we turn on the organ, the wind is going to come up from the basement into this wind line that's going to go all the way up and to all the parts of the organ. And this reservoir is going to fill with air and you're going to be able to see that happen. Let's turn on the organ. Do 
can hear it. And now all the air is in the air chest and it's ready to play. Now come with me back here and we're going to see some of the biggest pipes of all in the organ. Careful, it's very tight. So these are organ pipes. They look a little funny because they're lying on their sides. And that's because there wasn't room for them because they're so tall. But the one on the bottom starts right down there at its mouth and it goes all the way over here. That is 16 feet long. It's one of the longest pipes that we have and it's really heavy because it's made out of pine wood. And there's some more right here. It's a nice place to store these pipes. And while we're back here, also I want to show you the zimbal stern. The zimbal stern is the set of little bells that plays. And when we turn it on, they start ringing all by themselves. This is what we call the swell chamber. Um, this part of the organ is called the swell. And you see there are rows and rows of pipes in front, back behind. Most of them are made out of metal, but there's a lovely set here that's made out of wood. And it has what we call stoppers in the top of it. And that makes it sound just a little different. Um, right here are the oboe pipes. And on the other side here in the front are the fagato pipes. They sound like a bassoon. Now here's what I really wanted you to see. This is a view of some of our longest pipes. The longest one is in fact 32 feet long if you unraveled it. It's all curled up. But if it were in a straight line, it would be 32 feet high goes all the way up to touch the ceiling. And that gives us our lowest pitch on the organ, the lowest note. So those pipes are the longest and the lowest of all the pipes that we have. Now there's one last part of the organ that I wanted to show you. This is called the echo organ. And it's because it's the part that's way back in the back. It's not very big. And the pipes back here are rather soft. But we just pull out this ladder and climb in. The chimes are up here, and some little skinny pipes. And if you look straight through, you can hear the chimes in the tower ringing. It must be 2 o'clock. And see the front of the church. Well, thanks for coming to visit Hildy with me today. And I hope you're having a great time this week at VBS. I wanted to remind you that anyone who's in third grade or older can come on a Sunday morning and sit right here on the bench with me and help me out by pulling the stops or turning the pages or maybe even playing the chimes. So hopefully we're going to be able to be back in our sanctuary very soon and you can come and join me for that. Now where was I? <laughs>